Hi, my name is Robert Dur, and I'd like to show you two solutions I have to the same problem. Uh, basically, uh, what it is, it's an internet kill switch uh, for your home or between computers or between uh, devices in your network. Um, the first solution here uh, I'll show you is uh, uh, either uh, one part or one and two parts. And what it is, is basically it's a little box and you plug your internet, say from uh, your ISP's router, uh, in and uh, you uh, then plug uh, the, the wire that was going into that uh, uh, machine or that device uh, into here and it doesn't matter which one you use, uh, they're interchangeable and basically it, this acts as a, an interrupt switch between, between the two. So you just press that button and the, the data line, the data connection between uh, the, in, within the Ethernet cable is broken and you just unpress that button then and it's restored immediately. Um, so you can set this up as a standalone device or uh, you can set it up uh, with this uh, remote box which is uh, pretty much the same thing but there's no uh, there's no place to plug a, uh, an ethernet connection in. and why that is is often often you'll find that uh, the internet connection coming into your house uh, isn't at the you know the most convenient place to have a button, so you can put this uh, someplace else in your house or your business. Um, in my case, I have this in the basement and have this on the first floor, uh, and it works pretty well anywhere on the first floor and uh, in most places on my second floor as well. But of course, uh, your house or building may be different, and or it is different, and um, uh, the the distance will vary between uh, these boxes, the maximum distance. So I'll just show you this kind of theoretically in, in action. So when you set this up, there's a sketch and uh, all of this is open source, including the cases and the breadboard that I'll show you in a moment. Uh, and the sketch runs on both of these uh, and uh, it's an Arduino sketch, you just upload it and there's a little setting uh, that you set to say if you want to have it run on uh, just this box here, uh, standalone or with the controller or remote controller remote switch box. So in this case I've set it up to run with the switch box so I'm just going to get a wire here and plug it in and what it will do is it will immediately uh, look for the switch box. If you can't find it then it will say uh, you know hey something's wrong and in this case you can't find it gets all plugged in so we'll just plug it in here and then it should just immediately connect so that's fine and then so they're connected and then you just press the button on either one of them and the red light goes on to signify that the uh, the connection is uh, is uh, kind of severed until you just uh, release the uh, release the button and you can do that on either box if you want and then um, and that's that's pretty much it uh, for how it works I'll say too that the if the case is open source, then you can 3D print that yourself. Uh, the wiring uh, is in the sketch with respect to which pins you need. Or I've also uh, designed this little breadboard, which cuts down on the wires quite a bit. And uh, I'll leave a, uh, a link to that where you can get that as well. I think I got uh, uh, five of these for uh, um, a couple bucks, two bucks, plus shipping was a little more for sure. Uh, and but it's the same breadboard on each uh, each box, and the sketch, as I said, is the same sketch on each box, and the the device knows which one it is based on how you wire it up. Okay, and that's uh, that's kind of the first solution. And if you're going now, if you're leaving, uh, then uh, I'd ask that you, uh, or if you're joining, in fact, at this point, uh, I'd ask that you like and subscribe if uh, this uh, video has been useful to you. So, um, what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you the other solution to the problem. And uh, what it is, it uses an open sense, I have an open sense firewall in my house, uh, OPN sense. And what this does is it just connects to that. It's a standalone box, there's no switches or anything. You just plug it in and it connects to the open sense box uh, via Wi-Fi. And I'll say too that there's no uh, breadboard needed for this. It's a much simpler uh, uh, solution with uh, less wiring. It uses a, uh, a Lilligo uh, T3 uh, 
uh, display S. It's an S ESP S3 module in there, and so the uh, the kind of the, the screen is attached to the uh, ESP, so you don't have to wire that up. Um, so it's really just wiring the, the button to the box and uh, the power coming in as well. So basically what this is going to do is going to show me i got an OpenSense firewall. There's a version of OpenSense. If there's a, uh, an update pending, it'll go yellow uh, to one of the components. If it's an update to OpenSense itself, it'll show you the updated uh, version. Uh, this is the status of the, the uh, system. Uh, your firewall that is, uh, how many services are up or down, so I've got 19 up here at the moment, and the firewall it's saying it's okay. So uh, basically what this does then is it will um, get that information from your OpenSense uh, firewall and it'll uh, update it periodically in case anything changes. And if you hit the button, what it'll do is it'll send an API command to, um, to uh, enable uh, some automation rules that you may have already set up uh, that it will be disabled by default. So uh, in this case I have uh, two interfaces into my home uh, or off my interface, uh, sorry, my OpenSense firewall and when I hit this button what it's going to do is it's going to send the API command and it's going to, you can see there it's, uh, it's a network blocking on. Let me turn that off as quick as I can because my house will start to complain. Uh, if I leave it off for, for too long and then you know that just turns it off so basically it's an API call to enable those rules and then when you left the bedroom it's an API call to disable those rules and uh, that's it so the sketch for this is available uh, on my uh, on my website as well it's up on github uh, the sketch for this is uh, different from the sketch for for these two obviously but um, I guess that's all there is to it and uh, once you You've got that all set up. You can you can cut off the internet uh, to whomever you like in your own home. Okay, thanks very much. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please don't uh, forget to like and subscribe. Bye now.